Hi, we are going to present a work titled Model-Based Policy Search Using Monte Carlo Credit Estimation with Real Systems Application, a work that was done in collaboration between Mitsubishi Electric Research Laboratories and University of Padua. The purpose of this work is to propose a model-based reinforcement learning that is data efficient, accurate, and works in real systems. We propose the algorithm called Monte Carlo Probabilistic Inference for Learning Control. MCPLCO is a model-based policy gradient algorithm which uses Gaussian processes to model the system's dynamics and relies on a particle-based method to approximate the long-term state distribution. The gradient of the expected cumulative cost with respect to the policy parameters is obtained by backpropagation on the associated stochastic computational graph using the reparameterization trick. Like most of the model-based reinforcement learning algorithms, we can divide the algorithm in three main steps. The policy executions, in which we execute the policy on the system and we can collect data and evaluate the performances. The model learning, in which we learn the forward dynamics of the dynamical system, and the policy update, in which the policy is improved based on the model. We adopt a particle-based method to simulate the state evolution, compute the long-term cost, and compute the gradient to update the policy. We can now describe the main contributions within each of these components. During model learning, we try to learn a model that represents the forward dynamics of the dynamical system. In this algorithm, we assume that the model is a Gaussian process. And for mechanical systems, the state can, can be given by the position and the velocity of the generalized coordinates. We propose a speed integration scheme in which only the velocity components of the state are learned with the Gaussian processes, while the positions are computed accordingly to this equation, which assumes constant acceleration. This approach not only has the advantages of learning half of the number of Gaussian processes with respect to standard methods that need to learn all the state components, but also solve the problem of assuming conditional independences between outputs, as now velocity and position are actually correlated. Furthermore, in our algorithm, it is possible to use any kernel in the prior. And as we will see in the experiment, structural kernels improve data efficiency. During policy learning, we want to optimize the policy that minimizes the expected long-term cost. In order to do so, we need to estimate the evolution of the state phi of x1, phi of xt. As we mentioned, we use a particle-based method. The advantages of this method is that we there is no structural approximation in the distributions of the states, and there are no constraints on the distribution of the initial conditions, P of, of x of zero, which means that we are also able to describe systems without assuming Gaussian distributions and, and so multimodal distributions. No constraints on the choice of the kernel functions are required thanks to this uh, Monte Carlo approach, which was not possible with other methods like moment matching. Monte Carlo methods were already considered in the past, but had the problems during optimizations because of ill-conditioned gradient computation. We propose to use the dropout on the weights of the policy to solve this issue. At each evaluation of the policy function, the policy weights are randomly dropped with a certain probability. This corresponds to an increase in the entropy of the particle distributions that allows better optimization properties, like escape from the local minima, mitigate the effects of exploding or vanishing gradients. And moreover, since this would lead to a stochastic uh, policies as the weights change every time we are learning it, we propose a novel heuristic to reduce the dropout rate to achieve a deterministic optimal policy. Finally, we experimented that the, se the selection of the cost functions is fundamental for this kind of algorithms to, to work uh, accurately. More results can be seen in the paper. All the choices of the algorithms have been tested sorry, and validated in toy examples like the carpool system. Results can be seen in the paper. Here we are going to show only what we obtain in the control of a, of a robot manipulator. As you can see in the video, starting from the data collected we have purely tune PD, we can learn a controller in the joint space to track a desired trajectories, in this case, a circle. We can see that only in a sequence of, of interactions with the manipulator, the algorithm learns how to do trajectory of the circular trajectory. While this algorithm performs well in simulation, we are interested 
in working with real world systems. So we extend MCPL code to partially measurable systems that are observable systems whose outputs are a possibly noisy measurement of a subset of state components. For example, in many mechanical systems, like the one that you are interested, only positions and not velocity can be measured directly from the system. So the main idea that we had in order to deal with these systems is to consider two different state observers, one for model learning and one for policy learning. During model learning, we receive as input the noisy measurements of the position, and we can compute the velocity with some offline filters like numerical differentiation. However, during policy optimization, standard methods would learn the policy based on the states predicted by the model, like in this scheme. Instead, in order to better model the mechanical system, we filter the state produced by the model with a state observer that emulates the online measurements system of the real system, like in, the, in this new scheme. And the offline state estimator during model learning can now be an a causal filter so that the model can be learned with almost noise-free states. This approach has shown great advantages as we can see from the next experiments. So first we learn to control a fruta pendulum. In these three videos, we showed MCPILCO for PMS learning to control the fruta pendulum with different kernels. A squared exponential kernel, a squared exponential with polynomial kernel, and a same parametric kernel who use information from the physics. As we can see, MCP for PMS with the SP kernel can learn the fruta pendulum in only nine seconds of interaction with the real systems, less than 300 data. This not only shows the efficiency of our algorithm, but also the advantage that we have in having the possibility of choosing any kernel function. Here now we show the final policy that we learned and also how it is uh, robust to small disturbances. Second, we learn to control a ball and plate. Here we can see the systems and this is the initial explorations where the ball is just going through the, um, with random action through the, um, to the plate and after only 11 seconds of interaction with the systems, MC Pilko learned to stabilize the ball at the center. 11 seconds corresponds to around 340 data. We can see that the learned policy is robust to initial conditions from everywhere along the perimeter of the plate. Thank you for your attention. These are all the authors of the paper.